Good morning. Thank you for tuning in today to YouTube Live. I'm Bill Hurtado with Transwest Truck Trailer RV, Frederick, Colorado. It's my privilege today to show you the latest addition we just got to our inventory here. Uh, this thing is a beauty. This is a 2013 Newmar Essex, uh, 45 foot. Uh, this has the Fenwick paint and interior. Uh, that's their color scheme. Uh, this thing is an absolute gem. Um, few little uh, interesting footnotes here that I made. Uh, this is on the Spartan K2 chassis, which is very nice. It does have the 11.9 liter Cummins 500 uh, engine. That's got 1,645 pound-feet of torque. The total length on this unit is 44 foot 10 inches and it's 12 foot 10 in height. So good size, it's, it's really just right for, for uh, traveling the country. Um, interior, you've got an 84 inch ceiling height. So unless you're seven foot one, you're gonna be fine inside this thing. Um, this particular chassis has such an incredible GVWR that the payload capacity is over 10,000 pounds on this. So you can store a lot of stuff on this particular unit. So let's do a, take a look at the outside of this thing. I wanna go around and I wanna show you some of the features that are on this particular coach. Um, we do have a 150 gallon fuel supply on this. So you've got incredible range on this. You should be getting around eight miles per gallon uh, is a good average for this 500 Cummins. Uh, this one has the optional refrigerator freezer by Dometic out here. That's on a slide tray, uh, so that comes out onto your patio right here just for expanded space. On the inside, we do have the, the large three-door residential fridge, so a lot of food storage on this unit. Uh, we have two full pass-through bays right here. Uh, that is a manual slide tray that we're looking at right there. Over on this side right here, we have the power option for this slide tray and switches on the other side to take it out the other direction as well. Obviously everything is ozite lined with the mildew resistant fabric throughout the entire underbelly on this. Um, this uh, foundation that this sits on right here, uh, you can see the, see the supports coming up to and angling away from the frame the raised rail frame on this, uh, that gives this thing an incredibly balanced, strong platform. Uh, so it's supported all the way out to the outsides of the sidewalls. That is a uh, kind of a Newmar exclusive. They really know how to build a coach. Uh, I drove this thing and I was so impressed that there were no squeaks, rattles, anything anywhere. Um, Coincidentally, this has 64,000 miles on it right now, so it's very fresh. We love seeing stuff come in looking like this. We haven't sent this into service yet, but this is obviously something that the people have taken incredible care of. Um, the uh, uh, engine fires right up, the generator fires right up, everything just is perfect so far that I have tried on this. Uh, it's in just immaculate condition as you can see. So we do have the uh, the uh, ultra shiny wheels if you will. Those Alcoa wheels um, these have the special coating on them so these are gonna uh, look probably just like this for as long as any of us live. I think those are gonna outlive all of us. Um, so that's a bit of an upgrade on the wheels right there. Obviously we Def supply over here, uh, that's diesel emission fluid. And there is an indicator on the dash that gives you the level of that while you're driving. Over here is the chassis section. Uh, we've got the two 31 series batteries for the uh, engine and chassis. Uh, and then for access. Uh, because this is on the Spartan chassis, your filters are put over here right pretty much at eye level. Uh, very easy to change out. Uh, unlike, you know, the Freightliner, you do have to climb underneath for your water vapor uh, separator. All right, so looking back here, 
we do have the uh, side draft radiator so you can see right in there and see that 500 Cummins that's inside there. Uh, we also have the 15,000 pound hitch that is also the towing capacity on this thing so excellent in that regard you can you can tow some pretty big stuff with this thing. As I was mentioning the side draft radiator over here these are very important on these bigger engines. Not everybody does it, but it is, like I say, extremely important because a side draft radiator is gonna allow you to cool uh, about 30% better than a rear draft radiator. Uh, another important thing with side draft is if you're towing a, let's say a stacker trailer behind this thing and you've got a high straight wall behind you, you're allowing your rather you're disallowing that air to circulate in through the radiator with the rear draft over here it's never affected by that so big plus for you when you have the big engine to have that side draft radiator this is very simple little sewer hose storage over here and as we move up this side uh, we're going to look at the wet bay out here um, there's some really nice things that are added onto this. Uh, over to the right, where the full water filtration system is, you can see there there's a small black hose in addition to the large sewer hose. That's part of the Sanicon system. That is a macerator um, that will grind up your waste and pump it out. Uh, so it's a very nice system to have on these things. You've got a monitor panel up there on the top that's going to you know tell you exactly when your tanks are full or empty and uh, be able to know when you're dumping that you've got everything out of there um, obviously you've got that right below that monitor panel to the high speed fill so when you're hooked up to city water you can fill your fresh water tank rapidly then of course we've got our uh, uh, rinse outs for the black and gray tank typically you'll only find that on the black tank but we've got it on both on this one low point drains so you can drain off all that water and then the big thing to me is the manifold system over here on the right you can see that you've got a red key and that key connects to the red and blue valves top and bottom the reason that's important is because if let's say you have a leak on the cold side of the bathroom sink faucet well, if you didn't have the manifold system, you're pretty much done. You've got a leak, you can't run your water pump, you can't have city water pressure. With a manifold system here, you can turn off just that particular zone and continue to use everything else in the coach. So you are in complete control of your water system there. That's really nice. Right below that, we have the power reel for the hose. Uh, so that hose comes out 50 feet to connect to water um, and then it's also pressure regulated for you. So with the power retract, you're not sitting there fighting and winding a wheel or figuring out where you're going to store that. Now coincidentally, we move into the next section here where our electrical is. That 50 amp cord is also on a power reel. So very easy to pull that thing out and get plugged in at the campsite. And then when you're ready to go, uh, it's just hitting the switch. The thing will retract itself right back into position. Right about where the plug-in is on that 50 amp cord, you can see it's notched out right there. So that cord can be kind of snuck into the body of the cavity right there of the uh, compartment. And then the door can be closed. So aesthetically, it looks nice but also you don't have to have that door open worrying about dirt and everything else getting in there while you're camping. All right, so over here, this is the Oasis system. This hydronic heating, I tried this out last night. Wow, was I impressed. The full floor electric heating on this thing is amazing. Uh, it felt so nice in there and it was about in the teens, I would say, temperature-wise. I was perfectly comfortable in there. And it's even heating throughout the entire unit. 
Speaking of that, this particular unit has an option to where they did the tile, and you'll see that when we go inside, they did the tile all the way to the back. Um, so normally you would have carpet in the bedroom area in this vintage 2013, but this had the option for tile all the way back. Hence, you have the heated floors all the way back. So very nice big plus for you right there. Uh, this is the other side of the slide out power tray. So as you can see, I can move it from this side as well. And then forward of that, of course, we're back to our manual slide tray over here. Still very simple and very easy to use. Now, this has, I don't know if you can quite make it out on there, but February of 2019, it had all eight of those AGM batteries replaced. So those are fresh. Those are really in nice shape. Um, those are also on a slide tray, easy to service. And moving forward right here, um, you'll see this is a uh, chassis electrical section right here. Uh, that gives you a little squeegee, but you've got some breakers that you can reset. You've got fuses that are all marked for you, very easy to find if you have a problem. And then there's a switch control up here for the 12,500 watt uh, Cummins generator out in the front. So the entire nose of this thing will slide out on a power slide exposing the generator. So it comes out a few feet out here. So very nice system. Um, as I'm moving around, I'm looking, I see a, essentially a perfect windshield. Um, I, I drove this into the sun. I didn't see any uh, nicks or dings or cracks that you know, were gonna be a problem. Uh, so this is, again, really, really nice shape. Okay. So when we move inside here, there's a million things to talk about. And I'm not gonna get to every single thing on it, but I do have all the information on this thing. I'm happy to send you a brochure on this particular unit, uh, which is, you know, a, a pretty uh, a nice little addition. It's gonna tell you everything about this coach. And I do have the actual owner's manual for the unit separated from the rest of the nomenclature uh, because that's a great reference book. And I was going through that last night and I'm like, my gosh, there is so much to know on this thing. But it's a very easy read. It's very well documented, uh, detailed as to how to operate everything inside there. Um, it's, it's a great little feature right there. So let's take a look inside. I want to walk to the back and I want to show you some of the cool things on this particular floor plan. Beautiful rig. It's got lighting everywhere you could possibly imagine in this thing. My glasses got a little dark, so if I look like I'm finding my way through like a blind guy, you'll understand. All right, what a magnificent master bath. This is amazing. Um, I wanna step off to the side right here because I wanna point out this has the optional Dyson vacuum in here already, in addition to a central vac on this unit. And then you've got a safe up here that you can put your own code in, lock up your valuables. These two extra chairs fold up and they match the chairs that the dinette up front. And that black satchel down there is the rest of the paperwork on this thing. So it details every appliance uh, individually on this thing. Uh, also, there's a full chassis manual in there as well. Back here in the back, I have um, Extra space built into the wall, recessed into the wall right here with shoe storage, which is very nice. Extra drawers built in to this area back here. And your laundry center all the way back here at the back. If you're back here doing laundry, you don't want it up in the kitchen. That's the most ridiculous thing I've seen on a lot of units. Uh, or even the bedroom for that matter. It makes sense to be back here. So this bathroom 
in addition to those drawers I just showed you there, you've got incredible space for linens over here. Uh, very nice shower that already has the uh, teak wood seat that folds down inside there. Yep, that's an option as well. And I'll start moving this way so you can see this, yes, single sink. Some, some people will say, oh, I really like the dual sink thing. And I agree, it's kind of cool, but the, the times that two people have to be using a sink at the same time, you know, it's actually pretty rare. This is really nice because they put it into the corner. You've got exceptional storage with three cabinets up overhead. And then you've got, what was it, nine drawers I counted down here and then extra space down below. Think about everything I just mentioned. There's a lot of space to store things in this bathroom back here. Um, it's really, really well set up. Very deep drawers is in here as well. So very, very nice. I just love the way they did this. Numar, they're so innovative. Um, many of the things I'm showing you right now are still on the 23s. But Numar came up with this. Numar came up with everything flowing so easy and making it customer friendly as far as usage goes. All right, this king bed is a sleep number. Um, I found the uh, remote for that thing in the drawer over here. Uh, you've got huge deep cabinets up overhead and the glazed uh, woodwork that Numar does, which most of you know, Numar has its own cabinet shop in Napanee, Indiana, and they are magnificent. They build the absolute best cabinets. Uh, so these are really looking sharp here. And then uh, over on this side, we have a, uh, looks like a, I would call that a 37. I think that's a 37 inch TV over here in the bedroom area. Uh, really nice size, Bose Wave Radio built in over here. Uh, this unit has the optional alarm system with a couple of motion sensors inside the unit right here. Uh, that works in addition to, um, you know, a break-in, be it at the entry door or a window. Uh, so that can be disabled. Um, uh, there's multiple ways you can use that alarm system, but it is a really nice feature for, for your own protection. This panel back here, um, this is basically just like command central, as you've heard me say with other units. But you can monitor everything inside here that you're doing. You can see what your draw and load is on your air conditioning or microwave, you know, how much power do you have coming in this thing. You can force it to shed one thing off so it'll start another thing up. Um, that, that owner's manual I was talking about, we'll see that on the dinette up here, the entire middle section of that book describes how to operate your energy management system. Um, so it's, like I say, very detailed, um, but there's a lot to it. So that's nice that uh, I'm happy to take pictures of it and send it to you if you want, but understand that you are in complete control, be it on your AC power, your DC power. You can start and stop your genset. You can see how much power is coming out of your genset. You can manage your water system over here and keep track of your tank levels. Um, your climate control, fore and aft inside this unit. It does have three 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. Uh, so, you know, multiple ways to heat this thing. Of course, through the dash, through the floor, through the ceiling. Um, the Oasis system on here, uh, you know, you can turn that thing on and that's how you operate your your floor heat and what have you in here. But great system. This is also up in the front as well. So you don't have to go through the anguish of walking 25, 30 feet back here to get to your monitor panel every time. All right, so another thing that's really beautiful on this is um, they have gone to six large drawers on this instead of nine small drawers. Um, so really nice way they did that. All of those drawers are very deep. They're very easy to get a lot of stuff inside there. There's that remote I was talking about for the sleep number. 
And then the two-tone Corian that they use throughout the unit. Very sharp looking. All right, so as we move up this way, um, this does have the full-blown home theater system inside it. Uh, so the, the sound is just wonderful in this thing. It's very rich. Uh, it does have a subwoofer as well, so you can get some real deep bass in there. And then Newmar is just so well known for the woodwork that they do and how they use their space so well. There's a little detent click at the end right there. Keeps those things from moving around when we're traveling. I didn't look up the size on this. Um, this might be a 23 cubic foot fridge. Residential style. Got its ice maker built in right there. Got the drawer freezer slide down below. Um, and then of course, you've got your ice and water in the door. This is a half bath in this unit. And you know, some people may think, well, you know, a half bath, you know, it's kind of nice, I guess, but it's not really all that necessary. The reason many manufacturers are going to a half bath up here is because with the opposing slides back here in the bedroom area, if the passenger wants to use the restroom while they're traveling down the road, this is easily accessible. Otherwise, you would have to climb over the bed to get back in there and do that. But again, excellent storage. Full cabinet up above, medicine cabinet over on this side, uh, huge drawer. Uh, there's your central vac down there on the bottom. For obvious reasons, we centralized that. And then more storage down below the sink. So, back to what I mentioned earlier. Some people like two sinks in the master bath. Well, hold on, you've got two sinks. You just, the other person comes into the half bath over here. Now, three sinks, that's, in my opinion, very redundant, okay? That's a bit much. Okay, great, great galley in this thing. Um, I absolutely love this. This has the electric cooktop over here. This will actually fold away for you so you can cook that direction. And then it's got the composite sinks in this thing. Uh, so those are undermounted in there. Very nice looking. If you're not using the sink, you've got the extra space up above. You can utilize that way. Extra drawer over here. You see how deep they make these things. That's wonderful. You can get so much stuff in there. Uh, it's got the drawer style dishwasher down below over here. And then they've already separated all this for your silverware and utensils. And then extra drawers over here on this side. And again, very deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Up in the overhead up here, they do have Another drawer up above, but this is a shelf that goes all the way across over in there, and that's adjustable for different types of things you want to carry inside there. Of course, the pull-out faucet, the soap dispenser. They thought of everything. This is kind of a Numar exclusive. I haven't seen this on other units, but this extra ledge back here um, for when you're parked for a while, you can put your favorite spices and things like that up there have those easy to get to. From where you're looking right now, this has an option that is called, let me find it here, HAB with Air Din Ensemble. Okay, I didn't break down all the anagrams there, but what they're saying is this is an option to have this sofa flow into the dinette this way. Um, this dinette has a manual action right here, and then also has a switch over here so you can move it this direction. So two ways to adjust that thing in and out right there, up and down for different heights. Pretty amazing. It is a really nice option on this thing. No matter your size, shape, 
you're going to fit at this dinette and you're going to be comfortable. So like I mentioned, this DIN ensemble with air means that over here we do have an air hide bed that comes out. Uh, so that'll similar, similarly adjust uh, as does the sleep number in the back back there. So you can set your pressure on that thing to where you like. Uh, this sofa over here is basically just a sofa, but it does have the drawer that moves out underneath here for extra storage. Okay. If you wouldn't mind, let's take a look at the floor because down here you can see the accent lighting and that moves under the galley into the hallway. There's a small light right there by the half bath and then underneath the bed. So at night, having just those on, uh, in addition to up on the ceiling, we have accent lighting up here as well. So accent lighting here and down here makes a really, really nice interior at night. You can see well enough, you can find your way through, but you don't have these glaring lights in your face up here. So. Um, you've got a lot of options on lighting in this thing, more than I can even count. The other thing that's really nice in here is you've got power shades on all the windows. And those are dual shades, so there's day shades and night shades. And let's see if I can find a switch here. Here's one right here. So what I'm bringing down right there are the day shades. and. Those are really nice during the day because you can see out, but other people can't see in. Well, of course, that changes at night uh, to where you can't see out and they can see in. So, of course, you'd want to go with your um, nightshades. And let me find the right switch for that. Um, day shade, night shade. Okay. That's back, or day shade. I'm bringing that up. Oh, there we go. I had it. I'm doing just the dinette right now, but you get the idea. So you can do all full block out on all of these just with the push of a button. So really nice right there. Um, you're in complete control of your view. Over on this side over here is where the televator is. So across from the dinette and most, you know, comfortable sofa ever. That thing is just wonderful to sit in. Um, you've got the televator control here. And the reason they put the televator in is because a lot of people would like to have the view when they're not watching TV. So of course you've got your option there to do either. So I want to touch upon a couple of points up here in the front. Um, this unit has an optional extra wide um, uh, passenger seat over here. So very large, nice, comfortable seat. Um, in addition to your porcelain tile floor, you've got the full tile cover that comes out over here on the bottom. So that gives you a single floor all the way to the door when you're traveling. You're not going to fall down into there. Um, the passenger has control over shades on this window and then half the windshield up here. So that person can do day and night shades on both of these windows as well. There's an extra monitor over here that's integrated into the um, uh, navigation system. And also if you have any warnings like a low tire pressure or something like that, it's gonna show up in both areas, driver and passenger up here. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. Couple of things. Um, this has the backup camera and side camera package. And those are all adjustable, I'm sorry, not all. The back camera, you can pan up and down and side to side. So you can really get good vision around this thing. It works like a great security system. And then uh, 
Of course, you've got your Sirius radio integrated into here. You've got a DVD player uh, and CD player built in. Um, there's so many different things you can do. You're selecting different views with your camera. It'll scroll to the different views over there. Um, there's the step cover I was talking about. The visor and shade. Those are what uh, the driver has control over both sides. The passenger has control over just their side. Um, locking the entry door so you're not having to get back up, walk over, lock the door. Uh, <coughs> controls for climate. Another big thing on the Essex right here is you've got dual controls. Driver and passenger are separate right here. So the passenger has their own controls over here as well. So you can keep these two sides at different temperatures, which we all know that's the case when you and uh, say the wife are driving down the road in your car, it's nice to have the ability to do that. Up here, the other panel I was talking about that matches the one in the back. So you've got one fore and one aft. This has the TrackVision satellite system on it right now by uh, KIB. And um, we've got awning control up here. We've got security lighting on both sides of the unit. Um, we've got uh, our drapes that we can power from up here. Uh, and then, of course, slide controls. Dumar is very good about putting things all together that belong together. For example, you have seen, many of you who you know are veteran RVers, you've seen units with air leveling systems. And of course you've seen units with hydraulic leveling systems. Well, this is one of the few that has both. So what's really lovely about the air leveling system is you're gonna be somewhere for just a short time. You can set your air leveling, it will adjust the bags and it'll bring that into position for you uh, so that you know, you're comfortable. But you're not gonna have the wonderful stability like you normally would uh, if you put the hydraulic levelers down over here. So in order to do that, you would dump your air, lower the unit, the jacks reach the ground, now you're rock solid from the frame to the ground. So then it's just like stepping into a house. It's just, you know, very, very firm and secure that way. Um, let's see, this also has the comfort drive on it. So comfort drive is a really nice system that will recenter your steering wheel it will give you complete control uh, when the wind's hitting this thing it's a lot more stable right here and it's in five positions so you you adjust that to your own personal style and what feels good to you again really very very nice system uh, this spartan chassis is just amazing it's one of the smoothest quietest and Numar, of course, the way they build on this particular foundation is, is just second to none. Um, Numar has been a leader in luxury motor coaches for a long, long time. Uh, this thing, MSRP on this was 720000 when it was new. We don't have it priced yet because we haven't even sent it into service yet. But believe me, you're going to save a whole bunch compared to what a new one's gonna run you. And this should have everything you could possibly want. Um, I love this thing. I, I'll tell you, this is, it's just takes your breath away when you walk in here. And you know, the, the accoutrements and the accents and the lighting and the heated floors, it's, it's amazing. It really, really is amazing. Um, this is probably going to be priced equivalent to the cheapest brand new diesel pusher you can find on the market today. But this is an exceptional rig. Uh, second from the top in the lineup of Numar. Um, so as you can see, they haven't cut any corners. This thing has it all. And I for one, with only, I believe it was 64,000 miles on this, um, I would make this my first choice over anything new in the same price category because there's no comparison whatsoever. Okay, I know there's a lot of things I didn't touch upon and I'm happy to answer your questions. All you have to do is 
uh, when, after the after you watch the video, you can put some comments on, you can ask a question online right there. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, otherwise, you can contact me directly. And if I don't know right off, I will find out the answer for you. I can take extra pictures. I can do whatever you like. Um, key is to just get a hold of me. And it's a very simple thing to do. I'm Bill Hurtado. And if you're lucky enough to catch me at my desk, uh, I'll pick up right away. That's 303-684-3441. Uh, if you were to call, say, 3400, you would just ask for me and they would send it to my extension of 3441. But my cell phone is a great way to get a hold of me, so that's what we all use nowadays, right? Uh, so that is directly at 714-809-4813. And I love texting because you know, when I text you or you text me, we'll get back to you as quick as we can. We don't have to stop what we're doing right then and there. So I do a lot of texting. And email is a great resource for you too. Uh, I check my email 25 times a day. Uh, and it comes straight to my phone as well. So bill.hurtado at transwest.com. Uh, please take the time, consider this unit. This thing is a beauty. Uh, you'll you'll re be very, very happy with this unit. So, finally, thank you for taking the time, allowing me to show you this 2013 Newmar. Uh, this 45-foot unit is an absolute gem. So, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll talk soon. We just got this in, so don't miss out on it. It's going to go fast. Thank you.